Hello, I'm Peter Robertson. I am a farrier. Um, I'm a fifth generation of farriers and I've been shoeing horses ne nearly for 50 years now. Horses have to be shod for the work that they're doing. The, um, the horse's feet are very similar to our own nails. They, they will, the actual nail is half an inch thick uh, uh, width, in, in width, um, where ours are very fine. If you break your own nail away, you come down to the quick. That becomes very sore. The horse's feet are very similar. Either it breaks away or it wears down, which we call the white line. It becomes very sore, so the horse has to be shod. Going back a um, hundred years ago, the, ho the van horses were delivering milk, delivering coal. Over the cobbles, they would not have survived without shoes. They had to be shod. The standard of shoeing in the First World War was very bad. They took um, young men from anywhere. There were so many horses, they needed so many farriers. They were, um, they were sent out to shoe these horses, not necessarily knowing what they were doing. The, the horses suffered because of it. Uh, the horses were lamed. The horses lost shoes. The, um, the, the government were very aware of, uh, of the, of the uh, condition of the farrier. They then um, imposed a lot of training um, courses and and towards the end of the First World War, the, the actual standard of shoeing had improved a, a tremendous amount. Um, but then the war finished. The whole shoe that was found at Shoreham, I, I would say it, did not come off a, it didn't come off a very big horse. Possibly 16 hand at the very most, I would think. It probably would have been used, the, the, the size of the shoe would have been for the size of the horse that was, would probably have been pulling a gun carriage. It would have been quite a fine horse, uh, not necessarily um, a shire type. It, I don't think the horse would have been used for ploughing fields as they were usually very big, either a shire or a Suffolk punch. And sometimes those, those shoes for those size feet would have been anything from seven to eight inches um, across. So this one obviously, is, obviously isn't, it's only about five inches, five and a quarter inches. So it would have been a finer type horse. Uh, not all horses that went to war were big. And as I said earlier, Warrior was only a small horse and would have had a foot similar to the size of the, the one that you found there. I would think the horse lost the shoe the nails are bent over, and, and as it lost it, it probably trod on them, trod the shoe back down, which bent the nails over, and that's where it was left, probably from where he lost it, um, probably, um, probably 100 years ago.